Okay, so let's have a very quick look at the ReadingWise comprehension intervention. Um, and the slides I'm going to take you through are a subset and a very quick overview of a one hour CPD session on comprehension and an introduction to the ReadingWise comprehension intervention that I would take your colleagues through if you decide to go ahead with a trial. So I'm going to take this fairly quickly, but you'll, you'll get the idea. Now the whole theme of this is developing meaning makers and, and this comes from a conversation with, with Pi Corbett actually a year or so ago when he said that more children in school can decode but very few are able to actually comprehend to make meaning from their reading. And working with, with uh, Judy Clark, a, a literacy consultant, ReadingWise have developed this comprehension intervention that very much sets out to deliver on, on helping children make meaning. Reading is very much more than decoding black marks on a page. It's a quest for meaning, which requires the reader to be an active participant. And the key objective of this intervention is to get children involved in reading, to get them into the story, to get them into the characters, and to give them strategies. What do good readers do? Well, a lot of research has gone into this, and quite simply, good readers have strategies. But the problem we have is that very few teachers, very few teacher training colleges are teaching teachers to teach these strategies. We have to be very careful. We don't just test comprehension. We have to teach it. We have to teach comprehension strategies. What do good readers do? Well, they do all of these things. They can activate prior knowledge if they have that knowledge, which is why knowledge is so important. They can predict what's going to happen. They question, they visualize, they summarize the text, they infer, they work out what might happen next, and all the time monitor and check their understanding. So if those other things that good readers do, what are the barriers to being a, a, a good reader, to being to making meaning, to being able to comprehend? Well, again, very obvious when you see them written down, but insufficient word recognition. If you haven't got the vocabulary, then you're going to struggle. If you've got poor oral language skills, limited working memory, um, particularly applicable to some children with learning difficulties, Big issue, negative attitudes to reading. I go into schools where children get bullied for reading, where children get bullied by parents who are taking books home, where there are two, three generations of illiteracy. What chance do these children have? But fundamentally, across the whole system, we're very concerned that there are very, very poor standards of comprehension teaching. Very few schools are teaching comprehension, but just testing it. And it reminds me of the Einstein definition of insanity, doing the same thing expecting different results. So some research uh, work done by uh, Hobsbawm at the Institute of Education a few years ago looked into guided reading and looked at the role of a teacher in guided reading and how it enhances reading strategies for learners. But importantly, what happens when pupils are reading with a guide? And, and the challenge here for ReadingWise in developing an online-based and interactive comprehension intervention was to deliver this guided reading experience where children could read with a guide. And the guide in this case is the master, a character in a, in a story that I'll, I'll mention in a moment. The master takes the learners on a journey to learn the four key mega skills of comprehension, being thinking ahead, questioning, word checking, and summarizing text. And each of these mega skills have three micro skills underneath them. So we have 12 micro skills underpinning these four mega skills. Over the course of a 10 week program, 45 minute sessions a day, twice a week over a term, the children in groups of 10 are taken through the core mega skills, one at a time, introduced to them, and then four at a time are introduced and taught and tested and practiced on using these mega skills on practice texts. The text itself is a very exciting original story that's been commissioned by ReadingWise uh, featuring the master and his special agent John Wong and other, other characters who go with the learner on this journey. The comprehension intervention is built on evidence based on what works, what has been proven to work in comprehension strategies and grounded in engagement, grounded in getting the learners involved initially in a session working on their own at a computer followed up by interactive group work, developing this group reading and ultimately a culture of reading and ultimately a love of reading and ultimately a love of learning.
the story, introducing the Redstone of Calcutta with the master, the character that, that takes you as the field agent on this journey to, in the quest for the Redstone of Calcutta. In overview, the system can be delivered by a teaching assistant, a SENCO or a literacy specialist in groups of 10 learners at a time in a 45 minute session twice a week over a period of 10 weeks. Each session, as I say, is broken down into two stages, the self-paced element for the first half of the session, followed up by a group chat. So children work on their own, they get the knowledge, get the information to bring to a group session. So nobody has any unfair advantage through prior knowledge. Okay, so let's uh, have a look at the ReadingWise comprehension intervention. So this is the view of the system that you would see as a supervisor, where you can see the nine, 18 different lessons, 1A, 1B, and so on. The learners don't see this. When they log in, they would automatically go to the lesson that you've unlocked for them to access. So you'd unlock 1A, and then the next day you'd unlock 1B, and 2A, and so on. You don't want learners being able to just log in and race ahead, because the whole group has to proceed together. So the first session, they get introduced to the master. Greetings, field agent. My name is HRM Gregorian St. Hunter, 342nd Chief Master of the Masters of Peace Dadar. You may call me master. Welcome to the block. This is where all the masters are. So the first session does little more than just introduce the learners to the key characters. It's very light, it's very easy, very low pressure, very low stress. Very, very gentle introduction to the learners. And the second session, 1Bs, is fairly similar. If we, if we jump ahead and go into 2A now, you'll see how the system actually works through the mega skills. Here we're looking at the think ahead mega skills. So let's hear what the master's got to say. Now let's explore our very first mega skill, think ahead. Think ahead is all about trying to work out what might happen before it does. This key so we click on there and we can jump ahead uh, for, the, for the sake of the demonstration here. So I want to look at Think Aloud. So, field agent, first reread slowly and always keep thinking. Then let's ask ourselves some questions as we go. You don't have to write the answers anywhere. Just slow down and think about them and maybe even think up a few questions yourself. So here we can read a word at a time. The master. The master was waiting when the helicopter touched down on the roof of the block. So having listened to the text read out, we can now answer some questions. I wonder what the master looks like. Can I begin to imagine him in my head? So not right wrong questions but questions to get the, the learner to listen to think to read to try and get into the story i wonder why he doesn't have a real name the learners in the first sessions actually are introduced to the idea of a, a field agent log where they would make notes and jot down their observations their thoughts at this stage which they would then take to the group session in a moment it seems like he's helping the doctor a good character maybe so let's now go back to our menu and look at another mega skill. Let's go into the summarize session. Let's go and have a look at summarize. So here we have summarize. And you'll see that the paragraph of text is taking us through the story. It's another section. This is um, five or six sessions down now. So let's look at uh, the, the, the key themes here. Can you identify what this paragraph is all about? We read the text. Counting down for first jump, said the pilot. Special Agent El Amin, you so have 10 seconds. So what was this paragraph seconds. all about? Is it telling Nine. us about the pilot, telling us about Amber, Amber's equipment, or telling us about Amber preparing to jump? Well, is it about the equipment? Tells us all about Amber's equipment. Whoops, try again. How about preparing to jump? Tells us all about Amber preparing to jump. Well done. And there we go. And let's now go into one of the let's go into one of the other sessions now. Let's go into a session where we've got access to all the skills. Let's go into into 8B. And let's look at word check. And let's look at some tricky words. 
So select any words you think are a bit tricky. Okay, so I think that casually is a bit tricky, so I click on that. Um, revved, that's a funny looking word. Um, eliminate. Um, uh, shouted and sunglasses. So I've added those words into my list of tricky words and then I can classify them. I can see if I've never heard of them or not, heard but not sure of the meaning, have an idea but really do need to check. So I classify each of those accordingly and then proceed. And that's a very, very simple example of how to encourage learners to, to pull out words to, to check. Let's go into another section here, 9b, and let's go into the questioning strategy, the look back race. So the look back race is, a t is against the clock and the timer starts when you choose your first keyword. Let's see what the master's got to say here. Ready to race, agents? Don't forget, this is all about looking back in the text for answers. These are those literal questions. The answers are literally right there. Use the keywords within the actual questions to help you. So obviously so we're a fair way into the intervention now. The, le the learners have been working with the intervention for several weeks. So this is quite advanced. So what kind of chair was the master sat in when he returned to the block? Now the time hasn't started yet. What are the two keywords to in that question? Um, inside the question there, um, keyword maybe sat and in. Let's see if that's right. No, sat's right. Whoops, try again. Uh, sat in the chair. Uh, chair, not that one. Well and done. It's okay. That's right. So what kind of chair was the master sat in when he returned to the block? Where's the answer? So we look through the text and it's a barber's chair. So we say that. Well done. And now we carry on to the next question. And that's an example of getting the learners to read, to think, to drill, to identify, and to look back at words and to do their word checks. So really, in a, in a nutshell, what I wanted to do there was just give you a, a very, very quick overview of the breadth and richness of interactions and interaction styles in the ReadingWise comprehension intervention and how it encourages the children to explore how it takes them on this journey an adventure story but developing learning and putting into practice the four mega skills and developing a comprehension strategy let's have a look at it in use in in a school selling court uh, primary school in london Selicourt is a vibrant multicultural school in Tooting with two form entry and we have majority of children here that have English as an additional language. My parents are from Pakistan and I mostly speak Urdu. When I'm at home, sometimes I speak English, but mostly I speak Arabic. Do we remember some of the key information about the Redstone of Calcutta? The red stone of Calcutta is the most valuable diamond in the world. Great summarising of the story. Uh, we have used um, a comprehension programme that is based on the computer. So from the very beginning? It's more factual retrieval and the children present using a PowerPoint. But Reading Wise uh, covers all aspects of comprehension, including developing inference for the children, which is very important for their reading for meaning skills. I'm going to give you 10 seconds to think about it. And then obviously, I'm going to come around and find out your answers and why. The group discussion is very good because it supports their learning and it also helps those that are weaker than others by getting ideas from those that are quite strong. Speak like this. Hello, greetings. My name is Pilot. He speaks, like, he speaks like a real squeaky voice. He's got a very squeaky voice. Marco. Well, of the Crimson Head Gang, um, all around, I think, the kids have developed in all areas of their comprehension, reading, the coding. So it's been an all-out success, in my opinion. I would definitely recommend Reading Wise to other schools because it has made a huge impact on the children in their confidence in reading. Um, it's very good value for money, it's easy to use, and the children really enjoy using it. 
So the next steps, if you want to take this further forward, are to first of all, arrange a two week free trial with me, um, which I can do by email. I'll then uh, deliver a one hour version of this session for your staff, a one hour CPD session for your staff on the strategies behind comprehension and also show them how the ReadingWise comprehension intervention works. Then send me 10 sets of data for your learners that you want to take through the trial, the names and, and their, their details. Have the system free of charge for two weeks to try it out, then review progress and decide if you want to roll the system out. It's as simple as that. So if you'd like to get involved and if you'd like to try the comprehension intervention for yourself, drop me an email at the email address you see here, nickcorston at gmail.com. As I say, I'm a community, I'm a community consultant. As I say, I'm a community consultant with ReadingWise and trained and able to, to deliver this service, working in conjunction with, with ReadingWise, who I've been working with now for a couple of years or so. Thanks for your interest and I look forward to hearing from you.